Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to your next cast. Thank you so much for checking out another episode. My name is Titus, and if you are new to the channel, it is great to see you. I hope you leave a comment below and let me know you stopped by. We have quite a bit of wind on the water today, so I'm going to try to keep us in a good position and a good angle so that the sun's not blinding you uh, and so that you can see what I'm talking about today. So today's video is all about a spin cast reel. Uh, and if you're not familiar with a spin cast reel, here is what one looks like. Um, you don't often see me fish with a spin cast reel. Typically, I only do it if uh, it's like now where it's the middle of winter and all my other reels are up and I always have these spooled up like I never take line off of them. Or if you see me out fishing with a guest, uh, I might I might have them out. Um, but anyway, I kind of just want to go through the differences just in case you're new to fishing, you're wondering um, what kind of reels are out there, which one should I get? And so I'm gonna just show you uh, a spinning reel real quick uh, or an open face as some people called it, at least when I was growing up. You notice on this, the spool is vertical. It goes up and down here, has a, a bale here that releases the line. And so a lot of people use this, you've seen me use this type of reel uh, before. Second thing I have here is a bait caster. You see me use this quite a bit. Notice that the spool goes horizontal, goes across um, when, when the line's coming on. And don't worry, I'm going to have a video up of me going through spinning and bait casters as well. Today's just about uh, spin cast. So notice on, and I have two of them here. I have a Zipco Omega and a Zipco 202 uh, because that's where my roots are. I started out fishing with Zipco's 202, 404, um, Zipco 33s. And so you'll notice kind of like the spinning uh, reel, this uh, spool also goes vertical. It doesn't go horizontal. So I'm going to open this up real quick so you can see it. But that's what it looks like inside. And most spin casts, just about every spin cast I've seen, has a top that you can screw off um, to some degree or it snaps or something like that. And so we're going to tighten that back on like this. And so uh, what that does mean, it means the line comes on like this, but the line also goes off like that so it goes in a vertical fashion um, when it when you sling it and so there's a button here that you push um, some people have also called these push button reels because you push this button to release the line um, and I got this thing hung up at the top which is now it's not releasing but you can see now it's unreleased and uh, the line is going down but um but anyway but this is how I started out um, if you're an older fisherman or fisherwoman you probably started out maybe fishing something similar this is a Zebco combo that I think I got from Walmart um, really inexpensive. So if you're just getting into fishing or you have uh, someone that's not going to fish a whole lot, but they want something they can get out on a weekend or summer vacation and just fish and enjoy some good time, spin cast might be the way to go. Um, so it is a casting reel, but notice the name is spin cast because it's a combination of having this vertical spool, but also having something that you push, like this is the button you push here to cast on this bait caster. So this is kind of the, the in-between, if you will, of those two or the combo of those two. And so this one is the same way. Uh, this one's a bit more expensive. Uh, this Omega, I wanna say, is about 60 bucks, but it is a really good reel. So if you're just starting out and you want a, a decent sized reel that you can go out and throw immediately, I'm gonna just take this off real quick so you can see the spool. But there you go. Most of these come with red Cajun line on them, but um, but it's a really good reel. I've bought, uh, I think my dad one, I think my brothers, both of my brothers I think have, well, actually this is one of my brothers right here. Hey Levi, this is, it. This is your reel. <laughs> um, but they have them as well. I would recommend it uh, for anybody. I mean, they throw very smooth um, and it's very easy to reel in. So I'm gonna show you real quick how you do that. Let me untie this. Um, real quick. So if you're using a spin cast and this is your very first time, what you want to do is get comfortable with releasing the line. And that's true of, of either rod setup, whether you're throwing a bait caster or a spinning rod. You want to get used to releasing it. So what you do, um, and this has a rubberized button here you push, is you push that and the line goes straight down. You see the line coming off uh, right there. It's kind of stopped a little bit, but the line starts to come off. And so when you're throwing it, what you want to do is time it up so that as you as you go back, as you're throwing, you also release the button. So I'm holding on to the button right now so the line isn't going anywhere. So I can do this all day. And the and the, the lure itself, let me lean back so you can see it, doesn't go anywhere. But once I throw and let this go, 
See all that line coming off? Then it releases. And so it would be great if I caught a fish right now, but for the purposes of this demonstration, that's essentially what you do. So I'm gonna just do that one more time for you uh, as well. But it's very easy, very forgiving. You're not gonna backlash. You're not gonna get a bunch of uh, line twists and things like that. Uh, it's a very forgiving, very easy setup. And that's why usually beginners uh, start with this. Um, certainly you can catch fish with this as well. I'm gonna throw this way so you can kind of see where it's going. But I'm gonna just throw it sideways so you can see uh, how you can control it a lot of different ways. So I'm gonna just throw like that. And there we go. Now, the so the pro to this is, it's very forgiving. You're not gonna get a lot of line twists and things like that. The downside is you won't get the distance. You won't get the distance that you would normally get um, what I believe with a spinning or a bait casting. Certainly not with a bait casting. A bait casting is gonna launch a, a whole lot further just because the line is coming off like this and this is closed up. So there, there's some stoppage of the momentum for the line coming off. And so you won't get the same benefit that you would get if you were throwing an open face or spinning reel or the bait caster, which are both open uh, as well. Again, one spool is going vertical like this one. See, vertical. And then the other one is going horizontal, like that, horizontal. <clears throat> so, um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, that's a spin cast. You see a lot of these in your local stores. You can probably go to like Walmart or Dick's Sporting Good or Bass Pro and you'll see these uh, in there. A lot of times kids uh, get them or, you know, people who are just starting to fish get them just because it's a good way to go out. You get started immediately and you will be able to catch fish. So I'm gonna just do one more cast for you and just show you how that goes one more time. Again, you just push the button and hold it and then you let it go like that and it casts. And again, it's very, very forgiving. So you can, uh, you can sling it, throw it into things, throw it into a tree, uh, whatever the case might be, and you still won't have a bunch of you know, tie-ups or hang-ups and stuff. Now, the last thing I want to do is talk about um, uh, the tension, um, or the drag, if you will. So the drag is set here on the front on this one. And usually what you're gonna see, and I don't know how well you can see this, is you'll see a plus right there on one side and you'll see a minus. So the plus is um, tightening that tension up or tightening that drag up. And the minus is when you're going that way, I'm loosening it up. And you just use your hand to turn it one way or the other. Uh, same concept exists on a spinning reel, which we'll go into that more. It's right here on the top. And you just turn one way or the other to tighten it or loosen it and this just means how much line is going to be coming out um, when you're when you're actually fighting a fish and depending on how strong that fish is uh, and here you have a on a bait caster you typically have a star drag uh, here on the side but you also have a tension knob here that controls how much line is going out um, when you actually cast so the when as far as what we're talking about for this this star drag is the equivalent um, of what's happening on the other one so just wanted to show you that and I'm going to go into more depth on that in another video uh, but anyway so if you want to go with the plus and go all the way that means tightening it all the way up I typically wouldn't tighten it all the way up I would go to the left here just a little bit to lighten it up um, so that when you get a fish especially if you get a big one and it's pulling really hard um, you don't have all that tension load up in one spot it'll actually begin to pull some of the line out um, and I'll show you that real quick so when you reel, you re-engage the spool so the line doesn't come out. See, line doesn't come out. But because of where I have that that uh, drag set at, when you get a fish, it's going to pull like that. So that, that might be too light, actually. I can tighten that up so that now it takes a little more effort for me to pull. And that's that sound you hear. Now, most fishermen, like me, like that sound of drag pulling because that means you got a decent-sized fish on there. But sometimes, you know, you can just have your drag set too loose. So... See, what, what I have right now might be a little too tight because I'm having to pull really hard to get that out. So I'd lighten it up just a little. And you can always play with this till you get to the desired effect that you want. So anyway, that is a spin cast uh, reel setup um, in a nutshell. So if you're looking to get something inexpensive, maybe for a tr summer trip or a camping trip uh, or something like that, these are real easy to use, especially in close quarters and close situations. Uh, again, they're very forgiving, so you don't have to worry about, am I gonna backlash or get a bunch of line twists or something like that? So 
Uh, again, this combo I want to say was like 15 bucks at Walmart. It's a Zepco 202. And, uh, and I trust Zepco. Zepco makes some great spin cast uh, reels. Um, and, and so if I were getting if I were getting another one or if somebody was asking me, Titus, you know, what kind of reel should I get? Um, depending on what type of fishing they were going to be doing, most of the times I lean toward a spinning rod just because you're always going to need that anyway. But if they weren't going to fish that much and they just wanted to go out and have a good time uh, or maybe their you know, grandkids or something wanted to go out and have a good time, I would probably tell them to get a spin cast reel. Uh, and then you can get a, any decent rod, you know, at a, at a local Walmart or somewhere for, for not too much money. I mean, typically these are very inexpensive compared to reels. Uh, and then your rod, you can get like a $20 rod or something like that. This is a Berkley Lightning Rod, uh, which I actually like a whole lot. It's a six foot six. It's really good. Um, this one is 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 not that you know great. It's it's it'll get the job done, but it's really loose and it's a two piece. I don't typically like a two piece. I typically typically like a one piece rod. But you could get a Berkley Lightning, and I want to say they're twenty nine ninety nine, usually at Walmart. Not that expensive. So that's all I have for today. Spin cast, real setup. Might want to get one. So. We thank you so much for watching. Hopefully the video has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave that below. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We hope you have a good day and a good night. We'll see you next time.